हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल हेल्दी एंड सेफ वी स्टार्ट ऑफ विथ अ फैन ब्रश एंड आई हैव लोडेड द फैन ब्रश विथ हुकर्स ग्रीन यू कैन गो फॉर एनी डार्क शेड ऑफ ग्रीन मे बी परमानेंट ग्रीन विथ सम प्रशन ब्लू यू नो अ लिटल बिट ऑफ ब्लू एंड जस्ट अप्लाई द कलर विद random strokes on the canvas for the sky i have taken a violet and uh, white titanium white you can go for purple mauve uh, any fancy colors with daisies all these kind of colors look really pretty you can even do a uh, blue sky if you want to and uh, do it with cobalt blue and titanium white if you don't have any other colors on you so the center part is lighter so i just pull it with uh, white and merge it i leave a strip of white uh, empty in between so that uh, you know and i let the canvas dry the first layer dry so that when i pull the grass up it does not merge with the color of the sky or you can start with the sky and just uh, then do the after it dries you can do the grass any which way instead of the fan brush you can even use the flat brush i somehow like the texture of the fan brush once the canvas is dry just uh, pull the green part up till the sky and um, when the grass meets the sky ensure that your stroke is straight down so that it looks like grass just popping up a fan brush works well when it is loaded completely with color yeah just pull it down so that it looks like grass blades and the it need not be a straight line because uh, it's better if it is uneven and a little uh, undone it looks better that way in fact that's the beauty of landscape you can leave a few rough strokes and uh, it looks wonderful this is one of the most basic paintings that beginners can work on even otherwise once in a while i like to do these paintings we do uh, the grass blades with permanent green and cadmium yellow medium any yellow you could use with permanent green or for that matter even sap and olive green but they become a little uh, darker tones or a little muddy tones so this is fresh green i have taken it on a thick round brush uh, it kind of holds a lot more color and it's easier to apply it immediately it's not mandatory you can just 
pick it up from your palette but I am just used to doing it this way keep adding uh, cadmium yellow little by little or even a dot of white to change the shade of green here I have just added a little bit of cad yellow to brighten it up and uh, the strokes of your brush need to be a little random not uh, not in one direction or not in not very straight I'll just loosen up for that I'm using a round four number brush you can use a thinner round brush if you feel that uh, you want thinner glass grass blades I do these uh, semicircles for the daisies I marked the areas where we are going to put our daisies so these are in cadmium yellow you can even take it in a slightly darker yellow maybe a ochre or I'm just trying to keep it very bright so not using any muted shades at all wash your brush clean whenever you change the shade or in between also keep washing the brush so do as many as you want or as few as you want we move on to making tiny grass flowers they are very tiny white clusters and they come together they are the, they're very pretty they look very pretty you can also make them in yellow or orange maybe or pink you can make a colorful uh, painting I am kind of restricting myself to white right now but you can add any color that you like these are really tiny dots and uh, in a small oval and two three together here I've added some lavender flowers with the little violet and titanium white so these are just dots which are made in a form of a triangle an elongated triangle if you look at the shape So we start the daisies with titanium white and I use again the same brush that I use for the grass blades here you just starting with a point just pull the brush first place the brush down and just slightly pull it down depending on how long you want the petal your brush needs to be loaded very well with the color just change the direction of the brush as you move in the semicircle or the D that we have drawn you can practice this on a piece of paper before you do it on the canvas so you know exactly how your brush is working and you are comfortable
you can use a thinner brush so you get many more petals but before coming on the canvas check it on a paper or a rough sheet Take your time when you're making the daisies, don't rush. They have to look really clean and neat. So go slow when you're making the daisies. Of course with practice you'll know this is the easiest flower to make and very quickly but if you're new you need to give a little time to know how the brush is working how much pressure you need how much you need to pull the brush how big a petal do you want which brush you want to use So you can see we've painted almost all the daisies. You can paint the daisies along with the tutorial. Some are full flowers, some are half. Just adding a few more grass flowers. Now after the lavender flowers have dried, I am just adding a lighter shade of lavender as a highlight only after it's dried up it's very subtle and I'm doing it only on the left side of the flower for the stems we go back to the green that we were using for the grass but uh, I've added a lot more white to it so it kind of stands out just join the cluster of grass flowers together and pull one single stem down You can also paint uh, leaves along with this. Just rest the brush and pull it out. Ensure that you get a point. Give nice thin stems to all the flowers. Only the daisies you can have slightly thicker than the rest so they can be seen. Yeah. 
Yeah, just make it slightly thicker. You can even give a dark green line on one side of the stem, but I have not done that. Just left it with a single color. Try to paint it in one single stroke or maybe tiny strokes joining each other properly. Especially the ones that come from the sky. Add leaves everywhere. These tiny leaves kind of show the difference in foliage from the grass and these small stems and small leaves. You can add a little more white or maybe a tone of yellow. And you can see that, you know, the entire place has become very dense now. Add as many leaves you can also add some other leaf if you feel like And uh, to the flowers, I'm going to also add a little bit of uh, light, very light shade of lavender to just give a highlight. Fill it up with some more lines of green to show the thinner grass and this has a little more white so it will fill it up. The more you fill it with detail, it's going to look really pretty, very dense. Go on to add the lighter lavender shades or violet shades on the petals. Add it to all the petals. Just a dash of lavender on white. Here I'm using a thin white brown brush. It's not a liner brush, but uh, for the stems you can use a liner brush. I don't usually use it. I find a thin round brush better. 
on the lower edges of uh, the yellow you can just dot it up with orange or even orange mixed with ochre yellow and then add a little bit of brown you can even mix the brown with the darker green that you might have on your palette to make it a little more intense and just add it this is a line near the petals it's between the orange and the petals very lightly few flowers you can just give the brown not give the orange yeah so we're done with a beautiful painting and uh, i hope you enjoy doing this and stay safe stay healthy thank you so much for watching